Tishon Mitzad. And we have also what we call the graphical method. The graphical method. But in this class, we're going to be focusing on the first two elevation method and substitution method of solving simultaneous equation. Okay? Like I told you, we are looking at simultaneous linear equation. Linear equation, that is, an equation of a straight line or an equation of which the degree, the power is of what degree, the highest degree of the unknown is one. And when two of such equations are occurring at the same time, we call it what simultaneous equation. So these are the three methods we'll be using to, for solving a simultaneous and linear equation. This is the relation method, we have the social method, and we have the graphical method. But we are going to be focusing on the first two methods. So we are leaving this for now in our official class, one of our official class, or one of our official classes. We'll be looking at the graphical method of solving them. We are going to be using a graph to see how we can solve some of equation using what the graphical method. For, so for now, we're going to focus on these two methods. Let's look at examples. We have, uh, I'm going to pick example and we'll use the elimination and the uh, substitution method. Okay, let's look at the example. Let's look at the example. Example, now let's look at example. Now solve the simultaneous, solve the equation. Solve, example. Solve the equation. Solve the equation. Okay, let's take this as number one. Solve the equation x plus 2y. x plus 2y equals 5. That is our equation 1. And x plus 3y equals to 8. x plus 3y equals to 8. These are our equation 1. These are equation 2. Solve the simultaneous equation. x plus 2y equals to 5. And x plus 3y equals to 8. Two equations occurring at the same time. We we'll call it a simultaneous uh, equation. Okay? Now, we can use any of the methods we like. We can use the elimination method. We can use the substitution method. Okay, let's use the elimination method first to solve. Now, looking at this equation very well, carefully, you see that um, the coefficient of x here is 1. When we say coefficient, what is multiplying the variable? The variable is the unknown we are looking for. The coefficient is that thing that is multiplying the variable. The product of the variable is what we call the coefficient. The coefficient of y here is 2. The coefficient of y in equation 2 is 3. The coefficient of x in equation 1 and 2 is what? 1. Now, what do we do? Using the elimination method, you say subtract equation 1 from equation 2. Why? Because equation 2 is having the coefficient of equation of y in equation 2 is 3. Why the coefficient of equation, the coefficient of y in equation um, uh, 1 is what? 2. And if you look at equation 1, if you look at x, in equation 1 and equation 2, they are both the same thing. The coefficient are the same thing. So we can subtract equation 2 from equation A. From, subtract equation 1 from equation 2. So you can say, subtract, subtract equation 1 from equation 2. Now, when you bring equation 2 first, you have x plus 3y equals to 8, which is equation 1, no, which is equation 2, like that. Now, minus, introduce brackets, you bring x plus 2y equals to 5, you close the bracket, you call it with equation 1, and you rule a straight line. Now, x minus x will give us what, 0, 3y minus 2y will give us y, which is 1y, is equals to 8 minus 5 will give us what? 3. So y is equals to 3. Now, using the elimination method does not mean that you don't substitute. You also substitute. We've got the value for what? y to be what? 3. Now, what do we need to do next is to substitute the value of y, which is 3 for y, in, the, in either of the equation. Let's use equation 1. So you can now say substitute, substitute, substitute. 3, 4, 
y in equation, let's use equation 1. Now you bring down equation 1, equation 1 is x plus 2y is equals to 5, your equation 1. So whenever you see, whenever you see y, you put 3. So x plus 2 into 3, close the bracket, equals to 5. Closing the bracket here means it's multi, you are going to multiply. So x plus 2 times 3 will give us what? 6 is equal to 5. Now what do you do? You take 6 to this other side, it becomes minus. So x is equal to 5 minus 6. So x is equal to 5 minus 6 is minus 1. Therefore, x equals to minus 1 and uh, y is equal to 5. So the solution of this equation using the relation method is what s is minus one and y is five. That is example one. Now we are still going to use the subtraction method in solving this same example. This is the same example we are working on now. We are going to use the subtraction method. Now let me explain again. Now if you look at what we have here, this is what simultaneous equation. Please, this is you simultaneous equation. Two equations, two linear equations occurring at the same time. Okay? Now, what we have here now is an example x plus 2y equals 5, x plus 3y equals 8. Now, sometimes we also have a uh, simultaneous equation. Sometimes we also have an equation where you have, uh, you see that one of them is linear, the other one is what? Maybe a form of uh, 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 one linear and one that will have it. Uh, a form of quadratic as the case may be or one linear and the other one will not be linear okay you can have some equation like that one will be linear the other one will be form of what we have in parts but this one is two linear equation c simultaneous equation what do we do now this is where we use the elimination what method what we are doing here is what by the elimination method we did this both by the by the elimination method elimination method okay by the elimination eh, method so what we do is just to say equation two subtract equation one from equation two so you bring equation two first to four you write equation two which is x plus three y equals to eight equation two minus introduce brackets x plus two y equals to now the reason why we introduce bracket because if there's a sign the signs are going to change now for example assuming there is minus sign here this will not become plus to change minus times minus will not become what plus but this is minus times plus will what minus please now x minus s will give us what zero there's no need to write it now 3y minus 2y will give us y 8 minus 5 will give us what 3 that's all got y now you now put substitute this 3 for y in equation 1 so we we'll bring down equation 1 and then you will see why we we'll put 3 now introduce bracket 2 times in the bracket means that what 2 is multiplying 3 to give us 6 so x plus 6 equals to 5 x is equals to 5 minus 6 which will give us what minus 1 now we're going to use the subtraction method still in solving this uh, equation let's look at what by the substitution method and let's see what we are going to have still using the same example we are going to work using what the substitution method and we are going to see what we are going to get at the end of the day. Now let's look at this. By the substitution method, by the substitution method. Okay, now let's see. What do you do? You can say from either of the equation, let's say from equation one. Okay, from equation one, comma, you make x in the formula by saying x is equal to 5 minus 2y. We can call this what equation 3. Now, what do we do? Now, you can say substitute sub, in short, for substitute sub of 5 minus 2y, I can put it in the brackets, for x in the next equation, equation 2. So, you bring that equation 2, which is x plus 3y equals to 8 this equation 2 so where wherever you see x you put what 5 minus 2y so by substitution 5 minus 2y plus 3y is equals to 8 okay therefore 
you can see you can rearrange by saying 2y minus 2y is equal to what? 8. This comes to this side, moving to this other side, they come minus, it becomes minus. By the time you move to this side, it comes minus minus 5. So you now have y is equal to 8 minus 5 will give us what? 3. Also, you can say sub 3, sub 3, 4, y, a, either the equation, let's say equation what? 3. So we bring that equation 3, x is equal to 5 minus, 5 minus uh, 2y, which is equation 3. So now whatever we say y, we put 3. So x is equal to 5 minus 2 into 3. So x is equal to 5 minus 6. So x, now we give you what? Minus 1. Very simple. Very simple. Mathematics made easy. So, simultaneous equation using the elimination method, substitution method, see getting the same result. Now, I told you that in this class, we're not going to be using uh, the graphical method. Okay? In one of our subsequent classes, we're going to look at that using a graph to analyze it very well. So, look at it very well. And then, remember, whenever you want to ask a question, you can just click on the hand, okay, and ask your question okay but ask a question at the end of the class so we have used simultaneous we have used what elimination method and substitution method using a particular question i will see got the same answer solving what simultaneous uh, equation Now, we are going to take another example, a very interesting example. Let's take another example, okay? Let's look at another example and see. Um, okay, we are looking at another example. Okay, we are looking at another example. Okay, now uh, this example is very interesting. Let's look at this. Find the value of two x minus y. Say find to find the value of two x minus y find the value of what 2x minus y if if x minus y if x plus y is equal to 8 x plus y equals to 8 and and 4x minus y equals to 2 and 4x minus y equals to 2 so find find the value of 2x minus y if x plus y is equals to 8 and 4x minus y equals to 2. Now what you need to do in this kind of equation, this kind of question, you're going to solve this and this simultaneously 
and use the value, substitute the value into this to get your answer. Very simple. Find the value of 2x minus y. If x plus y, if x plus y equals to 8, and 4x minus y equals to 2. Very simple. What do you do from equation 1 equation 2? This is now x plus y equals to 8 gives us equation 1 for x minus y equals to so give us equation 2. Now what do you do? We can solve them simultaneously. What do we do? We can use elimination method by elimination method by elimination method. We can see add equation 1 to 2. Now we are adding because the signs we are trying to eliminate y. They have opposite signs. So if you say x plus y equals to 8, equation 1 plus introduce bracket 4x minus y equals to, to close the bracket equation 2. Okay, we're going to add them now. 4x plus now x plus 4x will give us 5x y minus y give us 0 equals to 8 plus 2 give us what 10. What do you do? Divide both sides. Divide both sides by 5. So we have 5x over 5 is equal to 10 over 5. So this we strong this as x is equal to this we strike this you have what 2 x equals to 2. Now we have not gotten y. So you say sub 2 for x in equation 1. Let's use equation 1. We can come to this side. Equation 1, x plus y, which is equal to 8. Equation 1. So whenever we see, whenever we see x, we put 2. So you can say 2 plus y equals to 8. Y is equal to what? 8. This comes, this will become minus. So y is equal to 6. Okay, so therefore x is equal to 2, comma y is equal to 6. Now the question says find the value of 2x minus y. So by substitution, by substitution, by sub, for substitution short, you bring 2x minus y. So you now see 2 into so you see as you put what? You put 2. Okay, and you see y, you put 6. So this will give us 4 minus 6, which should give us what? Minus 2. So the answer is minus 2. Minus 2 now give us the right answer to that question. Okay? So find the value of 2x minus y. If x plus y equals to 8, comma 4x minus y equals to 2. Now we use the elimination method. Take note you can also use what? The substitution method, please. Okay? This is equation 1 x plus y equals to 8, question 1, 4x minus y equals to 2, question 2. So by the elimination method, we added equation 1 and 2 in order to eliminate y because they have opposite sign, they have the same uh, coefficient, which is 1. Okay? Now x plus, 4, y, x plus 4x gave us 5x, 8 plus 2 gave us 10, divide both sides by 5, we get x, we got x over 2, and substitute x 2 for x in equation 1. So we, come to, we came to this side, got question 1, and we did our substitution. We got, um, anyway, we put CX, we put 2, we substitute, and now have Y is equal to 8 minus 2, Y is equal to 6. So therefore, X is equal to, now, 8 minus 2 give us 6, so S is 2, Y is 6. So the question is, find the value of this. So you put 2 here, 2 times Two give us four, and y is there, so minus will give us what? Minus six now gives us minus two. Okay, so we have any questions? You can put your questions, ask your questions concerning this uh, particular topic that has to do with your simultaneous uh, equation. Simultaneous equation is very useful in mathematics, cut across different areas of mathematics. You can use it in other areas of mathematics, even in commercial and business and uh, mathematics. Okay, and even in arithmetic. And geometric and progression. Even in sets, you can use it to solve.
Mr. Obed. Yeah. Wow. Huh? How is that? Is it going very ah, well? I went for online. It's only me home. I don't know why. Okay, don't worry about that. We're waiting for school. We'll still be doing our work. Uh -huh. We are class tomorrow. Tomorrow is when? Thursday. Uh, Should we come? It's From the time to the it's Friday and uh I know, let me stop this recording first. What happened? I don't know, I teach you what's off. But I've already done it. I've explained. Okay. I gave them two solid examples, use the two methods. So, go back and clean the board. Yes, can Because I, I'm done with okay. junior secondary. Anything I want to teach now will be 